Okay, before we get to what I was suppressing, let's start at the beginning. I know a lot of you think you know what's going on, but there's a lot of things that I couldn't show on TikTok. And if you're coming here from YouTube, be sure to check out my TikTok in my description below so you can follow the entire journey. Also, if you're new and want to join the J Squad, all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. Also, don't forget to leave your comments so I can pick my favorite subscriber comments and post them on the next video. Speaking of which, these are my favorite subscriber comments from the last video. Also, as an added bonus for being part of the J Squad, you get a special discount code on all merch and books. Just tap the link in the description below to get your coupon code today. All right, now let's get to it. Lately, I've been having awful nightmares. I'm not talking about your normal every night run of the mill nightmares. I'm talking about the ones that terrorize you even in your waking hours. The ones that you question if they're nightmares at all or if they're real life. The craziest thing about all of it is I can never remember what any of my nightmares are about. Every time I wake up, it's a completely blank slate, but I know whatever I dream truly traumatized me. I wake up in a pool of sweat every night and my heart is still racing. It's even affected my working hours. I can't get anything done because I don't have any sleep in me. I was falling asleep at my desk, really losing it. I needed help, but I didn't know what to do. It wasn't until one day I was cleaning to take my mind off things that I found this crazy item. I got rid of it, so I don't have it anymore. But here's a picture of it I took creepy, right? The reason I don't have it anymore is because I threw it out. I figured that's what must be causing the nightmares. So I of course got rid of it. And for the first time in weeks, I slept through the night. I thought everything was taken care of. Whatever I had found was the problem and getting rid of it had fixed the problem. I had no idea what to do. So I asked my witch neighbor Evie for help. When she came over, I explained what happened and she knew exactly what was going on. Okay guys, time for some never before seen footage. Check out the conversation I had with Evie when she was explaining to me what the object was that I found in my house. Uh, yeah, what's this? That's Tenebris Relinquae. What is that? So it's a darkness relinquisher. The darkness that's trapped inside. What? And it needs to be released. Okay, but I can't think of anything. Did you get all that? A tenebrous relinque? Something dark caught inside of me? Things won't stop until I resolve it? What is going on? She explained that the black spiderweb looking object I found while cleaning my house was in fact a tenebrous relinque or darkness relinquisher. But what kind of darkness did I have caught inside of me that needed to be relinquished? She asked me if there's anything I could think of that I had been holding on to, and I told her no, there wasn't a thing that came to mind. But before I could finish the single syllabled word, we both saw a blanket start to move on my couch. Then all of a sudden, like some sort of quicksand of a whirlpool, the blanket got sucked into the couch. I jumped back. I had never seen anything like that before. She told me that if I don't find the darkness within me that needs to be released and relinquish it soon, that this type of thing would keep happening and that it would only get worse. That's when she recommended a mind clearing spell. But as soon as she finished, this box flew off my bookshelf and out tumbled a small dog bone that I hardly recognized. I had no idea where I had seen it before. Evie had to head home, but before she did, she left me with the oil to help me clear my mind. Okay guys, here's some more never before seen footage. Take this, use it to clear your mind so that hopefully you can release some of the darkness. That night, I attempted to perform the mind clearing spell. So I took a dab of the oil on each fingertip and placed it on each of my temples. And I closed my eyes and I waited and I waited and I waited. And finally, after what seemed like hours of waiting, I saw this white light and I could tell there was something behind the light but it was so vibrant, I couldn't see behind its luminosity. Just as the light began to fade, and I could almost make out what was behind it, Cooper barked and broke me from my trance. I opened my eyes and looked to the front door, right where he was barking. That's when I saw what Cooper was barking at. At first, I didn't know what it was. I just saw this tendril-shaped object creeping inside my house through my front door. It wasn't until it spilled halfway over the threshold that I could make out what it was. An old doggy blanket that I had thrown out years ago. Cooper started sniffing it right away. That's when I started to hear this weird tapping everywhere in my house all at once. But when I checked, nothing was there. Even Cooper knew something was up. He was sniffing everywhere, looking around at something that wasn't there. Then all of a sudden the noise stopped and in an instant I knew what the noise was and what I had been suppressing all these years. My first dog I had when I moved out to California was named Link, and he passed away in 2019. It's been three years, and I haven't been able to really face it. That's how I knew the clicking was him. It was his little feet 
running around the house. The blanket belonged to him, as well as the dog toys too. He meant so much to me that I really honestly couldn't face having a memorial and admitting that he was gone. And it's still hard to do that. But it's important to let him know that his life was celebrated and that he was loved by many, many people. And so I believe that the Tenebris Relinque came into my life so I could have a proper memorial for Link. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna gather all my friends together and find all the people that love Link just as much as he loved them. And let him know that he is missed every day, but never forgotten. I love you, Link. Every day I think about you. And now my nightmares are no longer about you getting lost. They're about me finding you and holding you safe. And when I see you in those dreams, I know it's you. I love you, buddy. So, I guess what I learned in the end is that it's extremely important to express your emotions and not suppress anything. If you feel any sort of way towards anybody you love, you need to tell them right away. Even if it's not easy, bearing it away is only gonna make it worse. It will only rot and fester and grow into something that's far more terrifying. These dark dreams that I've had have been reminders of what can happen if you don't face the truth and accept things for how they are, as hard as it might be. Being open to love and communication is always hard, but it's a huge part of the process. I believe the memorial will help and provide an extreme amount of closure that I've been missing these last few years. I'm so grateful for Link, and I'm gonna dedicate this video to him. I love you, Link, wherever you are. Miss you every day, buddy. That's all for now, J-Squad. Sending my love, as always, over and out.